I believe that if you start 10 years out, 70% of cancers are preventable. Yes or no? Of course. Okay, good. So I'm not crazy yet. Of okay, course. good. No, awesome. you're not crazy. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, so these people. And by the way, here's something that, that bothers the shit out of me, and hopefully you can address it. Like with all this coming to light, and I think it's coming to light with more volume in the last few years with some of the great books that have been put out by great people, is that when you have a conversation with people and start talking to them about things you can do to prevent it, all of a sudden, a lot of them get pissed because they think, well, the onus is now on them and you're taking right. the randomness out of it. They wanted to live their life just believing right. the randomness of the bottle spinning. And that's not the case. What's wrong with people that they don't welcome and embrace this new knowledge? Well, we, and they do that. And then the other thing is they'll point to the case of like the baby that had cancer. Or how could you right. say it was preventable? How do you explain that, right? How do you explain that? So it's called statistics. And that's how I explain it. Statistically speaking, that's still 30% of people that are not preventable, right? And they're 70%. Even if we're off the mark and we think it's 50%. 50% of people are, we can't do anything about those. Those are your babies. 50% of the people are 100% preventable. There's a reason why we see more cancer now. There's, there's no question. Why are people not accountable? This is why we don't have as many patients in functional medicine as we do in conventional medicine or at McDonald's. 